Hey, welcome back. This is the fifth in our series, Made for More. We're talking about the fact that we believe that each one of us as individuals, individual Christians, are made for more, experiencing more of Christ than maybe we're experiencing. And we as a church are made for more, to see more happen in our church and in our community through, through our influence. Uh, we have a, a pathway we've been uh, talking about recently that goes along with this series, uh, Follow Jesus, Be Changed by Jesus, and On Mission with Jesus. So we want to follow Jesus, commit our lives to Christ. Uh, we want to be changed by Jesus, uh, so surrender ourselves to Him that we're changed, we're different people, we're better people, more loving, more kind, more gracious, uh, more pure. And then today I want to talk to you about the third part, on mission with Jesus. Uh, this is Ephesians chapter 5, and uh, we are called to be on mission with Jesus. And the shift we want to make today is from more programs to more mission fields. Uh, I've told you the last few weeks that every one of us is to be a disciple who make disciples, who makes disciples who carry the fullness of Christ to every corner of the world. Uh, more programs in the church is not going to saturate Portland uh, with the fullness of Christ. So we have to go out uh, with the mission of Christ. We live in a great place to do that. 50% of people in Portland have no religious affiliation whatsoever. 90% uh, of people in Portland don't go to church. Uh, Portland is called the least church city in the United States. So how do we share with them? Well, let's make the shift from more programs to more mission fields. I want to ask you a couple questions today. I'd like you to share that with your group. And here they are. Who are the people far from God you are to pastor? I talked a couple weeks ago about that you're a pastor to people in your lives. Who are the people that probably don't know Christ? that you feel like you are the pastor? Uh, second question is really the same one. Do you see yourself as a pastor to people in these groups like your club or your neighborhood or your work or your school uh, or your family? Um, so answer those questions and then hopefully you have a great study. Uh, look at the journals, pray together. Hope you have a great day.